Hello, hello everybody, what's up? It is great to be back as always, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. We are gonna be continuing some Far Cry 5 today. Uh, we've been enjoying the game so far. It's been it's been pretty damn good. Definitely action-packed tube worm dancer. It is great to see you all in chat. How are you all doing this fine, fine afternoon? Uh, I have some coffee, which means I am waking up even though I woke up many hours ago, so cheers, guys. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be chugging this over the next hour, and we just finished the first major section of Far Cry 5, so we are making our way through the game. I would estimate we're about a third of the way in. Um, and yeah, we've been enjoying it so far. We just got a pretty badass sniper rifle, and that is all she wrote. So guys, let's go ahead and jump right back into this game. Let's see where it takes us today. Let's, let's take down a cult. Let's take down a cult. Let's do it, guys. There it is. All right. Actually, interestingly enough, <laughs> the last quest we picked up right before ending yesterday um, <laughs> was one that had us making Rocky Mountain oysters. Is what they're called. Connected to this cartel. It was payback for. Which essentially are bull testicles, fried, and apparently they're a popular dish in uh, the northern United States. <laughs> so we're gonna go do that really quickly. Uh, let's check our map and see how far away it is. Yeah, it's actually not too far away. The Testy Festy. It's a festival where they're cooking testies. Bull testies, <laughs> to be specific. Pog Champ unsubscribed! Hello, my friend! How are you, dude? Welcome back. <laughs> Here's some good vibes in the chat for you and everyone else, guys. Let's do it, the Testy Festy. But it won't stop Casey Fixman from trying anyway. Help him bring the people together. It's, it lost, the, the Testy Festy has uh, lost traction due, <laughs> due to a cult killing and murdering everyone in this region. Platinum, what's up, man? Welcome back in. How are you today? Ah, uh, it is a fantastic afternoon, guys. I was playing some Bloodborne for a little while off stream. <laughs> Participating a little bit in that NG Plus run. So far, it's been pretty easy. It's been pretty easy. Um, not really too bad, but I feel like we might be over-leveled as well. All right! Let's go ahead and go over here. We also, I think, want to pick up this prepper stash on our way there. So I think we're just going to run. I think we're just going to run over there. Or maybe pick up a car if we... It's bright! If we grab one. Maybe pick up a car. If we grab one on the way there. We have some pretty awesome weapons, including this kind of, like, giant revolver. Uh, a grenade launcher that we've had for a while now. And this badass suppressed 50 caliber sniper rifle. This is my pride and joy. Like the key to my heart! All right, let's do this. I'm wonderful, almost got the new Mew. Holy shit, that sounds legendary. In Pokemon Go, just got Latios yesterday. Holy, that is amazing. I uh, never even downloaded Pokemon Go because I had a really shitty phone that didn't run it very well. But I have many friends who played a lot of Pokemon Go. So I like it. Good luck in your Mew adventures. Have they been adding to Pokemon Go a lot lately, or is it pretty much the same as it uh, has always been? I haven't really been keeping up with it. A cow. So, for those that were not here yesterday, we did just finish clearing out and killing John Seed's region of the map, which means we only have two left uh, to do and whatever this is. Huh. Oh, oh. This is the final cult compound. I did not know that. Defeat all Joseph's heroes to force a confrontation with the father. Huh. So it's on a little island just like our little island. It's pretty nifty. All right. Let's go ahead and head over to this prepper stash. In our tractor! Let's steal someone's tractor. Because that's the only way to herald in the end of cult life. 
the Tesdy Festy. Oh god! Wonder if this tractor can make it across this river. Deputy, John Seed and his goons nearly siphoned every last drop of our fuel. So before things get dire, hijack a couple oh, of the kind of? and bring him to Fall's End. Oh no, we're done. It'll slow him down and keep us rolling. Just kidding! Let's be a cure. Kill crowd. Pro cure. Some testies. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what he wants from us, to be honest. I don't know if he already has the, the bull testicles, or if he'll be making us harvest them. Help you. I would love to. What's going on, lady? Oh. What is this? Yeah, there's no quest around here. I don't know what I don't know what she wanted. That's a good guy. It is very how they marked all of the bad uh, cult members' vehicles with things like this. Their symbol. Been receiving consistent updates since week one of the game. Very cool. It's always comforting, unless the updates are bad. Uh, where I began, where to begin, man? For starters, there's now raid battles. Jesus, like like an MMO. It's kind of crazy. You will be able to battle with Pokemon, and once it's defeated, they get a chance to catch it. Up until a couple days ago, this was the only way to get legendary Pokemon, huh? I would not have thought that that would be a way they would go, but it actually does make sense now that you say it because this way they get more community involvement. It becomes kind of a group thing when you want to catch the legendaries. And on top of that, that's kind of the most sought-after aspect. That's pretty smart, actually. I should kill that bear, because it's killing the cattle, and you can sell its skin for quite a lot. I'm not a huge fan of killing all the innocent animals in this game, but it's something that you actually that pretty much bad. need to do to progress. Whoa! She is gonna die! Also, the big animals like the bears and the bulls can tank a lot of damage. Let's let's revive this lady. Cause we're a good Samaritan. Thanks. We have to we have the right <laughs> to our bear skins. It is our <laughs> our non-cult given right. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> At the very least, we need it. Oh my god. They are firing at a skunk. That is what they... That is... <laughs> it's also kind of funny because random enemies, uh, your partners and the people around you that are good will, will attack them for you. And it's funny when there's random enemies that are skunks or small little vermin. <laughs> because they will just unload on them. Oh. Time to kick up my feet. Oh, she's you never hear the word cult ever the fuck. It's again. a dog. I hope we're playing on hard. Of course we're playing on hard. Tube worm. I would never dream of not playing on hard. Well, I would dream of it, but it's unlikely that I wouldn't be. No, John. No we want the challenge, Tube Worm. We do. Here's the game completely when you actually need to walk up to people and talk to them in order to coordinate these things. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. Oh, that's awesome, Platinum. That's super cool. Does become. You made the cult go bye bye. Splendid. <laughs> How could we not, Tube Worm? How could we not? I'm no. Ca I am a casual a lot of times, but in this instance, I am not <laughs> playing in a casual manner. We're serious. You just saw me. Is that a... Oh, yeah. That is an evil fellow. 
We want to up the amount of sniper rifle ammo we can hold pretty soon. Um, I think it's as soon as we get to nine. Be on your guard. Stand firm. As soon as we get to nine perk points, we'll take that. Be strong. Because, boy, do I love. Oh. Rude, you lady. What's wrong with her? Killing people and such things. All right, so this is a loot stash, and I actually really like going after these. <laughs> it wants me to trade my pistol. It, it, my, it wants me to trade my suppressed 50 caliber sniper rifle for a pistol. That's... No, I'm going to say no to that. All right. So, to whoever is out there fighting the cult, the Peggy's took everything from me. My farm, my wife. Everything I have left is hidden here. There's a secret entrance to my bunker and garage. Use what's inside and pay, or make these efforts pay. Fluffers! Make these fluffers pay. Let's do it. Big Mike. I guess Big Mike's still alive somewhere. Uh, yeah, let's try this. So I was I was saying as we before we read that that I really enjoy doing these quests because they're little like puzzles that you can solve to get often pretty good loot. Oh, they killed the dog. Those heartless bastards. What's wrong with them? So we had to get in here somewhere. I'm guessing we can just blow this door up. Uh, let's just try shooting it with a grenade launcher real quick. That's a no-go. Ah, I see it! Eakin, hello man! Welcome in, dude! How are you today? My fine fellow. Uh, okay, let's get up here somehow. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and we can just zip line over there. Perfect. Oh god! I probably should have jumped after going over the thing. That may have been smarter. Oh! Loot! Oh, we're full on loot. Money? I'll always take some money. Loot, okay. Actually, while we're here doing this, we should just... Craft some more explosives, because uh, then we can actually loot that those other loot options. What are these? Yeah, there we go. So we don't have full gear on everything. We should always craft things so that we can ga um, gather more loot. So they just added quests in the Pokemon Go. Try to explain how they work over Twitch chat. But if you complete a list of specific quests assigned to you by the professor, which is, which does make sense, you'll be granted a Mew. Oh, so that's how you um. That's how you. Almost got Mew the other day, and yes, Ikin, I am a sub-gifter. I, uh, gave Nuclear a sub, no, oh, a while back. Because he was being delightful and nice and a good person. <laughs> but yes, apparently, and they just added this yesterday, actually. If you, uh, if you give someone a sub, now you get a chat badge, which is pretty nifty. It's pretty nifty indeed. Although I probably should give people, oh, it's cool. It's a, <laughs> it's a shitty sniper rifle. The things we were using before we got the good sniper rifles. Oh shit, what? No, I, okay. We're fine. We accidentally triggered our, <laughs> our parachute, which was not my intention, but I'll, I'll take it. It's fine. One, <laughs> at one point we, <laughs> At one point, we were really close to the ground and we triggered our parachute by accident by pressing space and it just decapitated us or something. It completely one-shot us out of nowhere. It was very, very weird. I think it had some type of weird fall damage interaction based off of us triggering our... I, I really have no idea. I don't understand why it takes you so long to give your tiff of fruits and vegetables to the project. You have a perfectly good trailer just sitting next to your garage. Attach it to your truck and move it. John's patience is, has its limits, Mike. You don't want to see him get mad. I agree. Which, he, apparently he did see them get mad because they killed his wife and his property. Can we move this, or...? 
Oh, yeah. Oh, ooh, that's... Okay, we're good. <laughs> I thought that was going to block us for some reason. I thought that that was going to block us for some reason. But we're good. We're good. What was that sound? So, Blydem, do you think you're going to be able to get Mew shortly? There's fasteners, pizza. Dude, I could do with some pizza. Speaking of which, guys and gals, I uh, I went to a restaurant called The Melting Pot last night and got an enormous amount of fondue where you, like, they give you the cheese with the breads and the vegetables and they give you the oil that you cook your own meats in and they give you the chocolate for the fruits and the, and the cakes and holy... Guacamole! It is so good. It was so good. Uh, I am a fan of fondue. Bad kids, cool. Is there? Oh, oh, I see. It goes up into the shack here. I think. Yeah, okay, it goes in the garage. Whoa! That is a cool looking truck. Nice. So this is the loot we get from doing this one. And this is why. I like doing prepper stashes. And on top of that, uh, the prepper stashes always give you, I think, almost always at least, give you three uh, perk points. And that lets you upgrade your self and your systems. Which is actually, we've been looking to get nine because we want to get this. There are more rifle and 50 caliber ammo. Um, because that sounds amazing. Oh, cool! I actually didn't know we could do this, so we could get Boomer and another squad member. That actually could be kind of cool. I think maybe we'll look at getting that after we get this ammo upgrade. Did Steen like it? Egan! Steen loved it! It was her idea go, actually. That's, uh, that's why we ended up going there for her birthday. She had a fantastic, fantastic time. So thank you <laughs> for tossing some money her way to help with the, help with the meal. Absolutely, dude. She had a great time. She'll probably be stopping by later today. I think she's at work right now. This is a cool truck. Come on, get in. Lead the way. And cheers again, guys. I hope you all have the warm beverages of your choice. All right, let's see where we're gonna go. Oh yes, we're gonna go to the Testy Festy. That's right. Of course, how could we not go to the Testy Festy? What do we look like? It is really hard for me to believe we don't have more than five melee kills. Seems kind of strange. I'm trying to figure out what I- oh, that's what I was doing. We're gonna- we, we actually have to equip the Testy Festy Festival Fest. It's kind of weird that it gives you all of your finished quests underneath it. I feel like it should abbreviate them, like only give you the last 10 or something, unless you expand it. But I don't know, I don't know. Alright. I think I'm on top of... <laughs> I think I just rode straight over that person's trailer, which is... or was probably a mistake. Hands-free driving chat! That's the thing I need is... You need to collect 400 candies to evolve my magic arm. This weekend, I should have some time to hunt the university. At the university, there you go. Dude, this auto turret, auto drive sucks. Uh, there are some river bins. There, where magic arms spawn. That's cool, that's very cool. Plus, he'll be there for a special EX raid. Nice! Well, good luck to you, Platinum. I guess it's still a decently ways off. It's Tuesday today, right? Um, it will come in time. It will come in time. I'm thinking about, we had uh, Meepers here asking if we were going to continue our Hollow Knight playthrough yesterday. So I think we, we might be continuing that at some point soon and also continuing Nino Kuni in the evenings. Where are you? Look at that bull frolicking about in the field. <laughs> Wait, I think that might just be an evil animal. 
It's interesting to me that the bulls are all evil in this game. They're just, they will kill you, and they will kill you from a distance away as well. Away as well. Alright, we're pretty close. Let's let's stop here so we can sneak up if there's any enemies. I'm guessing there will be, but I really don't know. We may just be continuing like uh the preparations for the festival or something. I'm honestly not really sure. We must kill this badger! Dang it, it's running from me. That's kinda lame. We need your skin, you animal. Oh, it's a dead pig. It's kind of weird. There's also someone shooting over here, so we probably need to be pretty careful when we approach. I know parents dying is the, the really, really the best thing about having partners outside that they'll kill people for you and, and like fetch things is that they mark enemies. Uh, and they'll mark them from a decent way away as well. Which is super useful. Super, super useful. I believe... Okay, yeah, that, that, guy's, that guy's a good guy. What the hell is he shooting? Is he shooting at these vultures? I bet actually he's going to have us uh, take them down as a favor. Casey said he was sending someone over for a pickup. Damn right. One of these damn vultures gobbled up the key to my barn. Look, it's a long story. Let's just say I was. Uh, oh my was god, that's hilarious. You gotta help me. I'm a lousy shot. That's why. <laughs> that's why he's shooting Shoot them. Down those vultures. One of them has to have the key. Because they took his freaking. Because they ate his key. They ate the key to his barn. These. I really do enjoy these quests quite a lot. They're just. They're quite quite quaint and they're actually pretty good diversions from the the main game hides key there we go Let's see what the other ones wait did none of the other ones have well i want to i kind of hurt a little bit that's fine i bet the last one we shoot down has the key automatically and since we looted the last one we shot down immediately it just de or er, it unmarked the other two Already hooked up to my truck and stuff. I'll let Casey know you're on your way. This is probably my favorite secondary Let's weapon. This, uh, this yeah. revolver. Thanks, uh, it is rangy, it has decent accuracy, and so far it does a lot of damage. USA! USA! Not gonna chant with me? I don't even give a shit. USA! USA! USA. U USA. Okay. Did anyone else get their free pizza? I did not, but I would love a free pizza. How'd you get a free pizza? Thanks for everything you've done. Hmm. I did it! Nice. Deliver the, the Desty Festy trailer <laughs> to Casey. All right. Look at this. They have an entire grill uh, <laughs> for the Testicle Festival. <laughs> <laughs> and it has a scared bull on it. That is amazing. That's amazing. Valley's gonna bounce back. So we must have to uh, unlock this using something else. I think that's what we need to do. Get out of my way, lady! There we go. Full. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything now in here. So let's go, go, ahead go, go ahead and drive the truck. Let's go ahead and do it. Their free pizza, dude. I would. Wait, will she? Is she gonna drive me? Preppers, just like squirrels. The hell? You want. Why did she get in and crank the car up? Excuse me, lady. The wheel's yours. Yeah, cause you won't drive. If you would have driven, I would have let you drive, lady. I just. Apparently, you won't. If we hit a piggy roadblock. Careful. 
I bet we will hit a pe Peggy roadblock on the way back. Though actually, I don't really know if we will, because I'm not entirely certain if there even are roadblocks left in this area now that we've cleansed this place of the Peggies. Uh, I know there's still some Peggies left around that we haven't killed, but I don't know if new ones are continually spawning in like they were before we cleansed the area. You know, one of the critiques I read recently about this game is that unlike the other Far Cry games, you cannot ev avoid the main plot lines. So once you get to a certain point in, in each area, no matter what you do, you immediately get pulled back in. There's our truck. That is a very cool looking truck. Oh. They don't want us to engage in the testicle festival. They must be stopped, chat. They must be stopped. The testicle festival must go on. <laughs> really platinum. Drive better than you shoot. Those from 11.30 to 1, they said as part of a marketing scheme that they would do if they have a 16 seed, beat a first seed in March Madness, and lo and behold, it happened, and they honored it. Wait, who was the 16th seed? Then one. I, uh, ever since Clemson dropped out, I haven't been following it as much, even though I really do... I've been, I've been a Duke fan since, a ch since I was a child. Uh, I've just been super busy the last couple days, and, I've, like, it was Steen's birthday yesterday, so we had to go to dinner and celebrate. And I was streaming during lunch. Uh -oh. One second, what is... What are you doing, dude? Does he have a quest line? I think he does. I hate listening to Zip's conspiracy theories. But if it means we can get access to his cache of explosives, then he can run his mouth all he wants. Huh. He should be at his ranch. Hell yeah. Cool. So, I'm at a point where I kind of... I'm not really sure if we're gonna do this. But, so if we click on each area, it says, if you look over here, right right uh, underneath my body, it says, we've completed all specialists recruited, we've gotten all the cult outposts liberated, and all the cult properties destroyed, but we've not done every mission in this area. And there's like around 50, 50 to 60, I think, in each area. Let's look. Yeah, 40 uh, and 40. Okay, well, this one has the most. But anyway, I'm kind of at the point where I sort of want to do the side quests. Because, in all honesty, the side quests are 90% of the time more fun and better written than actually the main story, which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't mind it because I love side content in games, but it definitely is interesting. I'm a nerd. I don't follow Marsh Madness. Sorry. I just know that everyone around me was ecstatic because Michigan was in the final four. They made it. Damn, I would not have expected that. I really wouldn't have. Wouldn't have. And, dude, you're absolutely okay. I am a nerd as well. The only reason I follow it is because my family, growing up, followed it really closely. Um, and to be honest, I don't really follow it. Like I said, I haven't really been following it very much because I didn't even know that Michigan made it. Uh, although, wait, I think that means that Michigan beat Duke. Kind of sucks. I will say that I did follow it a little bit because I just graduated from Clemson. Uh, Clemson is my, I'm an alum up there, and this is the best they've done basketball-wise in forever. Uh, so I did follow it a little bit, Whatever it is. uh, because of that. Dude, why are you aiming at this lady? She is straight up blinding. She is straight up blinding this lady with a laser from her rifle. What the hell? dumps was getting renovated when the cult forced it to close. Owner wasn't too happy about it. Purdy made a deal with the local resistance to store some supplies in there. It's honestly a bit of a death trap, so I'd be careful while you're there. Huh. Oh, another stat. Nice. Another prepper stash. Very cool. Uh, okay, where's our objective here? Okay, I think we actually have to bring it somewhere to park it. Yeah. If we hit a piggy roadblock, be careful. Stop here. No, I'm not stopping here. Dude, she's... She's so aggro right now. Look, she has an Uzi out, and we're in the middle of friendly territory. <laughs> it's like, I will kill literally everyone. Actually, really quick, I think we're gonna go grab Boomerang again. Cool. Some money. It looks like we also get extra money if we've liberated the area already. If you look under, like, right above my head. 
I like that sentence though, Platinum. I, I do. <laughs> I'm a nerd. I don't follow mass March Madness. And then the apology at the end is really what gets it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize that I'm a nerd. Never ever apologize for your nerdiness. You put in work Platinum. against Eden's gate. <laughs> nerdiness is the new cool. <laughs> it is, and it will stay that way. If we have anything to do with it. America! What about a nerd nuclear set? Uh, 